Good morning, guys. It is fall. There are leaves everywhere. Katie, where are you in? Oh my gosh. All of my social media is linked down below if you want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. I do have a Twitter, but I don't ever tweet. Do y'all tweet? Should I tweet? Anyway, well, let's go ahead and get into today's vlog. This is basically my morning routine. I come in in the morning. My doctor takes a look at all of the surgery patients, and then we start to get our dental cleanings on the table. We probably do about three of these a day. Everyone that gets a dental cleaning also gets a full set of dental radiographs, which is something that I believe wholeheartedly. You never know what's going on beneath the gum line, and I have seen some crazy things. I previously made a video of all the things that go into a professional dental cleaning that I will have linked down below if you want to watch the procedure from start to finish. So this cute little monkey came to us because he had a retained deciduous tooth and what that is is a baby tooth that has not fallen out which if a deciduous tooth stays in place and does not fall out it does have to be surgically removed it can cause some major issues if it stays there throughout his life so dr stone went in and removed the tooth and then i just put one little suture in place we also took an x-ray of it afterwards to make sure that the entire tooth was removed and there's his little tiny tooth that small little thing could have caused so many issues for him but that was his before and this is what it looks like afterwards so it's a simple easy procedure this is another procedure that i did this week it was a little dachshund that had never had its teeth clean he's probably about four or five years old so his teeth were infected there is pus coming out from underneath his gum line that we'd had to do a local antibiotic treatment to clear up the infection. So this is Khaleesi. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all should recognize her because I do post her on my Instagram quite often because she's super cute. She came in for her third set of puppy vaccines and she does have an Instagram of her own that I'll have linked down below. Okay, so we're going to pause for just a moment and talk about this. This is the worst case of gingivitis I have ever seen, and y'all know I've been doing this a long time. This poor dog has ulcers all in his mouth. There's pus underneath every single one of those teeth. They're all mobile. He also has a bilateral oral nasal fistula, which is where there is now pus in his sinus cavity from his teeth. So there's pus coming out of his nose. Treatment for something this severe is going to be extraction of most, if not all, of his teeth. And this is just one side. Wait till you see the other side of his mouth, which is this. We talk a lot about dental disease here on my channel just because I always want to bring awareness to you guys that this is what happens when you don't get your dog's teeth cleaned annually. Guys, it's so important to understand that periodontal disease can lead to other health problems throughout the body. This can include heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, and various other types of infection. He would barely let us even look in his mouth because it was so painful for him. Could you imagine constantly swallowing all that infection? This cat was brought to Dr. Stone today because his face was swollen. After examining him, she decided that it might be an abscess. We're not sure if it's a tooth root abscess and inside his mouth there's a little ulcer. So we took some dental x-rays and that's what we're going to look at and kind of decide where to go from there. The x-ray of his lower jaw actually ended up looking really good so there was no damage to his mandible so what Dr. Stone decided to do was just drain the abscess. What we're going to do is make an incision on the abscess and once it's cleaned out really good we're going to apply a medication which we call EKT but it's basically an antibiotic and a steroid and that's just going to help the wound heal from the inside out.
Hopefully this will clear up the abscess for him. If not, we would bring him back and biopsy it and send it off to histopath. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.